Hi, this is Christy from BirdMentor.com, where I teach advanced skills to beginning birders. And thanks for joining me today. When was the last time that you recall seeing a bird engage in nesting behavior? Maybe a month, two months, a couple weeks? I imagine that most of you are probably going to say a couple months, which will explain why what I'm about to tell you seemed a bit odd to me when I first saw it. So last week I was outside during one of our gorgeous yet unseasonably warm days, kind of like today, and I was watching a small flock of western bluebirds. I was at a friend's house and she has a number of bird boxes, or I'm um, sorry, bluebird boxes, dotting her backyard. And so at this one point, I watched one of the bluebirds, it was a female, land on top of the nest box. And then the male flew up repeatedly, like if this is the hole of the nest box, he was flying up over and over again and like hovering at the edge of the nest box. And he did this for a good five minutes. Now, if this was the summertime, I wouldn't have thought twice about it because what he was displaying was nesting behavior. But it's November. Then a few days later, I was talking to one of my students who lives in Montana, and he told me that he had observed a house finch carrying debris in its bill, which is another clear sign of nesting behavior. So now this wouldn't be such a big deal, except for the fact that in, let's just take bluebirds, for example, to incubate a group of eggs, it takes about two weeks. And then another good two weeks, for the parents to come and feed the, bird, the baby birds every day after they hatch, and then probably another two weeks for the parents to feed the birds once the babies fledge. Now, that would take us into mid-December. So can you imagine baby birds hanging around and trying to be fed by their parents and the parents trying to find enough food to feed the baby birds in the middle of winter? Can you see why I'm a little worried? Okay, so I had to get to the bottom of this. So I reached out to one of our local bird gurus and I asked him my question. And he told me that a couple of years ago when he was living back east, he observed a family of eastern bluebirds carrying duff into the nest box that they had used all summer long. And this was fall time when he was watching this. And he said what they would do is they would go in there at night and huddle up together, the whole family, to stay warm. Now, I've seen and heard of other cavity nesters using their nest to actually sleep in at night. And some of you might be surprised, but most birds don't actually use their nest to sleep in. They go and find a roost. But cavity nesters do. So over a hundred years ago, a man by the name of Arthur Cleveland Bent reached out to people all across the country and asked them to share their bird stories with him. He tallied the results of over 800 people and in 1919, he published a 21 volume body of work called The Life Histories of North American Birds. What I love about these books is that they rely on the direct experience of ordinary people. So today I'm reaching out to you to share your observations of fall nesting type behavior. Let's see what everyone has to say. You can share your stories in the comment section below. And I wanted to let you know that this week registration has opened for my free online course, Learning Bird Song, that starts December 1st. Now, in this course, you're going to learn the five game-changing questions that you can ask yourself whenever you hear a new bird call, <laughs> like all these that we're hearing right now. Plus, I'll share unique techniques that can help you learn and remember the bird calls that you're hearing. Click the link below if you'd like to learn more. And until next week, please get out there and help spread some bird love in the world. Thanks for joining me.